Good morning. We are back in Connie's Kitchens, the portable edition. Today we're at the village, I guess you could call this municipal complex. Fair enough. Um, I'm Connie, and this is Glenn, Glenn Pape, the director of the DDA. Hopefully today we're going to talk to some other people around, but in the meantime we're going to cook. So let's get started on this, and then we'll talk about you. All right. Okay? This is episode 74, by the way. All right, so basically we're going we're gonna to do something trendy. I never do trendy things. Ooh. I never do trendy things. But avocado toast is a big thing right now. So we're going to do avocado toast, or at least our version of it. So if you could cut a couple of those and, you know, do your thing with them. Do my thing with them. You said you know what to do with them. So. Yes. Yeah, these are a little firmer than what I had been looking for. You need to sharpen your knives. I know. Talk, talk to my husband. He's my knife sharpener. He fell asleep at 8 o'clock last night. No, he actually went to the meeting with me, so it was later than that. Oh, there's the trash can. I, I don't have my garbage bowl. I have a trash can today. So. So while he's doing he's going to scoop this out, and then we'll move on. Can you talk and scoop? Sure. I can do lots of things at the same time, except chew gum and walk. Okay, well, we won't do that. So tell me, tell people what the DDA is and what it does. Well, the DDA is kind of... Uh, government entity, and our main mission is to improve the downtown and assist the businesses in downtown, so that... Keep talking, i got to get a fork. What happens is, is we support the downtown, and our job is to give businesses the tools so they can do the job better, and at the same time... Talking and not cutting off fingers is always a trick. <laughs> you know, so well, we do if improvements. If you cut yourself, I have paper towels. <laughs> okay. So, you know, we focus on improving where downtown, how downtown looks. Physically. physically. The physical downtown. Right. And so we want to make it a pleasant place to stay. Oh, this one's got some issues on it. So we do that. That's why I gave it to him. We do economic development work. I'm going to have avocado fingers here. That's why the paper towels are here. Oh, I know. You see? <laughs> Wrong tool. I can scoop it with a knife, but not these knives. Hi, Dan. So we also do things like business assistance. You know, we do some training workshops for businesses to help them get ready for competing in the digital world. You know, so we do Facebook training. We do Instagram training. We do website development. Thank you. I left the stem. That's all right. Bad me. And you also, sometimes you create events, sometimes you promote or work with mm -hmm. other people on events, and you've got some stuff coming up. Yeah, we do. We do a lot of events for the community. Some of them are just, you know, community festivals like Scarecrow Festival that's coming up on the 12th. We've got... Which well, is, what's going to happen at the Scarecrow Festival? Oh, well, Scarecrow Festival is, you know, our fun fall harvest festival mm -hmm. where we... You can stay there. I can move around. <laughs> I'm flexible. So we do a lot of things there. We've got kids games, kids activities, face painting, balloon animals, all of these different things that are going on. There'll be music all day. There will be our scarecrow contest. Oh, how do you enter that? Well, the easiest way to enter that is to go onto our website, downtownoxford.org, mm -hmm. and click through events. Go you can to... start mashing that too while you're talking. All right, and then we get into you don't have salt, do you? Yep. Oh. Salt and pepper. I was going to show some of this Tuscan seasoning, too. And lime. And so, Scarecrow Festival, the Scarecrow Contest is on our Scarecrow Festival event page. And you just basically put up your Scarecrow by October 1st. In your, at your home? At wherever, home or business. Or business, okay. We've got two categories this year. We're doing one for just homes and one for all the businesses. Okay, cool. So, you know, we didn't think it was fair to have a business with lots of people and resources to make a scarecrow. Yeah. You know, possibly this year we'll get somebody to defeat the fire department because they've won the last two years. <laughs> but they do such a great job. Oh, I know. <laughs> and so there's that. And there's live music in the park all day. And there's pumpkin bowling. We have a kids' costume contest and trick or treating. You know, it sort of kicks off the Halloween season, but at the same time, it's not a Halloween event. Mm -hmm. We're not it out kind there. of combines the two. Yeah, I mean, we're not out there trying to scare the kids. We wait till Halloween to do that. <laughs> um, so, we we work with that, 
and then we also have a pet parade and pet, best pet costume. Last year we had a pig show up as a streaker. <laughs> I and remember that. It won, which was really cool. Coming in? Yeah. And, and the, the, what was amusing is the pig was running the hay bale maze that we have set up for the kids. <laughs> so it was a squealing good time last year, even though it rained. Um, we're hoping it doesn't rain this year, so we'll get a good turnout. I mean, it's a great way to get people into downtown and have a good time. And so. Okay. Vicki's here, by the way. Vicki, what exactly is your position here? I work the front desk and answer the phones. Okay, here in the, for the village offices. Well, yes. we're short of mics, so I'm going <laughs> to lean over. Can you start building a salad for me while he mashes? Um, How chunky do you want this? That's all to taste. I don't want a mousse. If I'd have wanted a mousse, I would have brought cream and a, in my chopper and everything else. I'll leave some chunks in there. Chunks I, are good. I think, yeah, I like a little bit of integrity. So, do you want to cut these? Do you, now, are you... I'll squeeze it by hand, or do you want a squeezer? I'll use the squeezer. Okay. And then I brought some Tuscany seasoning I thought we could blend in. Oh, I should probably put the plunger down. On my Darth Vader toaster. <laughs> I may have to steal that. We, I, it's Chris's, but he would probably say okay. Because <laughs> I think I bought it for him. We made toast once, and it's been back in the... Uh, in the we'll get to it later place for a long time. <laughs> I took it out yesterday and had to dust it. And then you got soup and sweet stroll coming up, which is kind of in conjunction with the chamber. Yeah, well, soup and sweet stroll is, is the beginning of the holiday season here in Oxford. And so we do a big community event on the Friday, December 6th. And so we have the schools singing in downtown, all the businesses are out front with soups and hors d'oeuvres, and a lot of the businesses come in. And a lot of our local officials get involved with that, too. Oh, yeah, we have volunteer servers, which mm -hmm. is cool, and we get a lot of community leaders or past community leaders who are still involved. And so it's a really fun night. The kids sing Christmas carols, Santa's downtown. The kids can come to ask, tell Santa what they want. Um, and then we do a community sing-along at 10 minutes to 8. And then at 8 o'clock, we light up the 60-foot tree in the, down in the park. And so that's a good time. And it sort of kicks off the holiday season here in mm -hmm. Oxford. And so we've also got a window decorating contest this year for all of the businesses. Oh, cool. You're going to, like, paint window or however they want to do it, Yeah, right? we're going to be doing an old-fashioned Christmas in Oxford. And so they can Beautiful. decorate however they want to interpret that theme. And we've got some prizes for the best window. You know, we'll have judge's choice and we'll have the people's choice. And so that's something we're looking forward to. It's kind of a new thing we haven't done here we before in Oxford. Of those. Okay. Yeah, then, that is new. And then we'll be doing some more stuff throughout the month of December to keep people engaged and talking about shopping in Oxford. One of the really things we're focusing on this fall is trying mm -hmm. to get people into downtown Oxford so okay, that they can to. see what it's like. And we can also remind them that next year when we're doing the road project, they can still come down and shop just oh, like sure. they have this year. It's not going to be a huge problem for them to come downtown and shop. So that's fun. But you don't need to tell her a thing here. Yeah. Just half a lemon, yep. And the Saturday before Halloween, we're doing a big bash in downtown Oxford for Witches Night Out. Oh, yes. Last year we had, you know, seven, eight hundred witches. We lost track after we ran out of. You can't count witches. <laughs> well, we ran out of stuff. We'd prepared 500 copies, yeah. and we ran out by like 6:30. So it was really you can't odd. Can't really see his face. <laughs> okay, so Vicky over here has just squeezed half a lemon into a bowl of fresh greens with some cucumber and blueberries. Now drizzle a little bit of this mm -hmm. avocado oil because we're making Ooh. avocado toast. See. So we just took, you took the fresh avocado yep. and the lime juice. Two avocados, one lime. And then we poured in some of this Tuscan blend, which is a little bit of red pepper and it's oregano and garlic. It's a, like a nice multi-purpose season. Mm -hmm. So spread some avocado on the toast. And then we have salad. I like to keep the salads really light. And I thought, I think the avocado would play nice off the lemon. What do you think? Mm. Smells good. Smells nice and fresh. See, I'm one of those crazy people 
who dresses the salad before it even gets to the table. Well, yeah, that's what we did. Because when you use a bottle dressing, it causes it to wilt sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you get the acid on first, it kind of protects them. Exactly. So. Alrighty then. Do you want me to make them pretty? Oh, this works. And then some salad. Oh, and I had brought a fresh tomato. Do, do people put tomato on avocado toast? You wouldn't believe what you can put on avocado toast. So, do you want a couple slices of tomato? No. No? Okay, do you want some tomato? I suppose. Okay, help yourself. We'll make it different. I don't know which knife you want. This one? That one's not sharp at all. Let me get the, let me get the toast no. out of the way. <laughs> back or I'll stab you and we'll have the... And Vicki here, now while he's doing that, <clears throat> Vicki's the first face you see when you come into the village. She sits right over there in the new village offices, the new village office. which is making really good use of something that has, had already existed and was not being put to use. And I think it's been a lot more efficient for you guys. It has. We have a lot more room. Um, we don't bump into each other anymore. It's nice. Taste. Well, it looks really nice. And then behind us here are just some of the photographs that we have in, in the archives that Glenn has been working on. Um, you're, you're blowing them up. Well, actually, these are left over from the last Celebrate Oxford because the museum oh, yeah. did all of these on corrugated board and then had them all around Cent Centennial Park. Right. And so my thinking was, why are they just sitting in storage? We can actually get Oxford's history out in front of the people. Mm -hmm. So these are the 16 that we picked for the first exhibition. You know, we've got another 50 or 60 in storage, but our point is if, we're, if we've got these resources, why not tell people the story of, of old Oxford or historic Definitely. Oxford? Definitely. Which is cool because we just got our historic district designation. That's right. That's um, right. Very cool. End of July. So now we're on the National Register of Historic Places, so why not showcase off what the history was? That's what makes us historical. So what do you think? Did you try the toast yet? Not yet. No, the salad's really good, though. Is I it? Like the, the lemon juice on there is really good. You know, I, I always find if you just throw some acid on there, and then I, I only brought the oil in just because I wanted to tie it in with the avocado. So how's your avocado? Good. Is it? Mm-hmm. So that's the whole thing about avocado toast, I guess. You just mix up avocado and put it on toast. And you can add whatever you want because yeah. it doesn't come off once you put it on. So. <laughs> but it's a good, it's a healthy, it's a healthy meal. It's easy to do. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of thing I was thinking, you guys, if somebody had a toaster here and a loaf of bread and somebody mixed up some avocado, you sit, stick it in the fridge and you got stuff to share at the office. No cooking. There's no heat involved anywhere. Just, that's all there is to it. Fun, healthy, and we'll make more for anybody else that might be hungry. So we're going to clean up this mess, and then we're going to come back, and I don't know who's going to be here. Glenn may have to stay because everybody else may chicken out. But I'll let you flame the bananas. <laughs> so we will be back shortly and uh, make some dessert, again, in a place without a stove. So that's always the challenge. Without the letters A, B, and O, there's no mom. There's no Brittany. Because A's, B's, and O's determine your blood type. And we're missing all of them. Schedule your donation at redcrossblood.org. And we're back. And we're going to make dessert. And Amy's here now. Yes. And big disappointment, Milo's not. He had to stay <laughs> home sorry. today because we were really hoping to show you Milo because he's just the cute. He's a dog, by the way. 
<laughs> it's just the cutest thing. Okay, so we'll talk, but first let's get started. Okay. You know. And sorry, but that's the way I do. <laughs> and peel away. And then you're gonna. People love bananas, and Oops. we're gonna do kind of a fruit topping thing here. Oh, nice shot. So is that like a good sized chunk? Yeah. To eat? I think so. Okay, peel another one. <laughs> oh, okay. See, I'm cutting them though. <laughs> I don't like bananas. Amy's with the Chamber of Commerce here in town. And she was just saying she has a ribbon cutting. Where's your ribbon cutting today? Today we are uh, cutting the ribbon at McDonald's of Oxford on uh, 24. Mm -hmm. And they are just uh, south of Meyer. And anyone that uh, would like to come out would be very welcome. They're going to be having a cafe uh, taste test, and they're going to be giving away quarter pounders with cheese with their new, um, all their new toppings. I mean, I want that piece anyways. <laughs> and, and now uh, forever, McDonald's will smell like bananas to me because she's talking about McDonald's while I'm cutting the banana. But look how I'm doing it. See that? You're doing good. There's some brown sugar. That's raw brown sugar. Okay, do you want that other one or just? No, God, I think two is enough. Okay. The other one's just there for a visual. Um, I try to stay away from refined sugar, especially when I'm shooting with Kyle. He's been experimenting with monk, monk fruit sugar, is it? Oh. Yes. He won't talk on camera, but he will occasionally nod. Okay. So I, I have a cast iron skillet on our heat hot, hot plate, I guess you call it, sure. grill. So we're just going to kind of get these browning while we start something else. Very nice. Okay. So go ahead and put some brown sugar on there. And then when we're done, we're going to flame them. Oh, yeah. At least that's the plan. And then we'll mix them with the other concoction that we're going to make. You want all this brown sugar? No, that's probably enough. Okay. So, you know what? I'm actually going to move this to the end. That's going to be hot, guys. It's going to get warm. <laughs> and, all right, so this is to move them around unless you think you need tongs. You can just set nope. that there. All right, so while that gets started, we are going to... I just, I don't know how much heat we're going to get, so I don't know how juicy this sauce is going to get. This is for ice cream. I brought ice cream. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And I went to Meyer yesterday to get some nice fresh raspberries or blackberries. They were completely out. Those look wonderful. Where'd you get then those? Then I remembered that a couple weeks ago, Meyer had blackberries on sale, and I stocked up and froze a bunch. Oh, that's good thinking. Brilliant. How long can you freeze berries for? Roughly. I don't. I don't know. Probably a few months. I, I put them out on a cookie sheet. I wash them, put them out on a cookie sheet, stick them in the freezer, and let them freeze. Okay. And then I take them out, and then I layer them into containers like this with wax paper to keep them separate. Oh wow. Okay. So you don't end up with a big frozen mush. You can you do it with like blueberries? Oh, and... I do. I, I you know I haven't done blueberries. It's a different texture. I think. I've done um, raspberries, strawberries, and again without adding sugar. That's the whole point is keep stirring, I'll be back. Oh, look, it's starting yes. to caramelize, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which is the whole plan here. Pretty Chickens. already. <laughs> Can you see this? Yeah. So right. talk about the chamber, what you, what you do, what you've got going on. Well, we have a really exciting event coming up on September 29th, and it is being held at Boulder Point. And um, it's in the main dining room overlooking the golf course. And it is our Oxford Business and Health Expo. And this isn't hot, right? No. Um, Oxford Business and Health Expo. And uh, we have all kinds of demos scheduled. We have uh, Wally Edgar will be doing car demos. Uh, Charm and Company will be doing hair. Uh, styles and, and makeup. Uh, we have a tanning salon that's going to be doing face tanning. Wow, you got a lot um, going on this year. There's a lot going on yeah. this year. And we have Some all kinds of your part. great door prizes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great door prizes and uh, luxury raffle and 50-50 and there'll be all kinds of exciting things going on this year. So if you uh, want to mark your calendar that's, for September That's free 29th. at the door. Free yep. to the public, and it's from 11 to 3. And when you walk in, you get a gift uh, right away. Just for showing up. Just for showing up. Cool. Yep. Cool. And then um, we have our mix and mingle coming up, which is also combined as a ribbon cutting at the new Gravel Capital on Main Street here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is September 26 at 4 o'clock is a ribbon cutting, 4.30 is the mixer. Cool. 
So yeah. So that's what the chamber does. Whereas, we, whereas Glenn's like overall development of downtown, right. the chamber's there to specifically support the businesses. Correct. We um, are there to enhance marketing for them, to try to support them in any way, and to uh, try to uh, bring business to, to them. So uh, that's part of what the expo is about, to highlight them and, and let the public see all the great businesses so we have. So how many have. entries do you have at the expo? Do you have uh, we have about 60 That's vendor great. tables. That's how we can really fit in that room. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's a full full house this year. Good. Yeah. Good, good. I'm just going to put this over here. So I have to now, are, these are... So what what is happening? Are they like caramelizing? I'm thinking they are, yeah. You got the brown sugar. I didn't it use it. It smells good. Does it? I, to yeah. me it smells like bananas, but... <laughs> And then okay. In, in here, and like I said, because I was experimenting. Oh, I touched that with that. Sorry. It, it doesn't matter. Mike. Okay. I don't go anywhere. I can't eat after I see bananas, so don't have to worry about me. But everybody else loves bananas, <laughs> so this isn't going to cook. If I had this on a regular stove, I would just set this on a back burner and let it simmer for okay. about a half hour, and then it, you'd have so you'd still have some integrity of the berries, but you'd have all that luscious juice. And I'm not sure we're going to get that same effect here, but you know it's worth a shot. Yeah. With that, yeah. <laughs> when I have to go someplace good. and cook without a stove. Then we break this out. And this is the first time I've done anything with, with pots and pans on here. So, but it looks like that's sizzling up really nice. Yeah, this is going nice. So how do you know when they're done? Bananas. Do you poke them with a fork or do you tell by looking at them? Or? I've never cooked bananas. Oh, okay. So that I don't know. I've only served them in there. Okay, they're still kind of firm but easy to poke. What is the texture you want when you eat a banana? Soft? Yeah, you don't want it mushy though. You yeah. want it like a, a kind of medium texture, not not anything mushy, and not hard either. If they're not ripe, they're no good either. Well, yeah. See, whenever I go to buy bananas, <clears throat> those looked ripe. I ask somebody in the banana department. I tell them what I'm doing and when I'm going to use them, and they pick them out for me. So this time, I guess <laughs> this was this was a good bananas, eh? My <laughs> husband likes them green, so. And then, I don't. I know. I don't eat them because he likes them green. And gr <laughs> green, they'd still be like really firm. Right. But the weird thing about bananas is they continue to ripen on the shelf or on your counter. They do. Yeah. I, I mean, know. if you buy it green, it takes what three, four days, and they're yellow and yes. brown. Yes. And uh, if you don't keep them out of the sun, they'll go bad real quick. But they grow in the sun. I know. But if they're, I think if they're off the vine, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. It turns them quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would make sense. All right, so yeah, I would think these and you are also to get we were done. just talking about oh, how pretty. Oh, thank we were just you. talking about with Glenn. He's got the soup and streets sweet soup and stroll. Street. Yes, and you follow the next day. You talked about it some with the parade and yes. Santa. And we're super excited about the Christmas parade this year. It's December seventh. It's at one o'clock this year. We moved it back an hour uh, because we have a lot of our participants that come from Lapeer at the 10 o'clock parade there. They come and do our parade, and then they head down to Lake Orion for the lighted parade. Mm -hmm. And we want everybody to have enough time in between to get to each parade. Um, and this year, uh, we our theme is Old Fashioned Christmas, which is gonna be really fun. Oh yeah. And uh, we are going to have the fire uh, rings out in Centennial Park. And so oh, people, for warming your hands. Yep. I, I was and thinking fire rings dancers or something. No, no that's not um, what you're talking about. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no dancers or anything. talking about. Okay, I got <laughs> well, it. Well, we might have dancers. Depends on if uh, some of the schools on Point School of Dance or some of the other ones show up. Yeah. And uh, no matter if it's rain or shine, the parades go on. Or snow. Or snow. One year we had, this is before you probably, we had just a blizzard. And it was oh. so beautiful. I bet it was. It was. I mean, the road was clear. It was just the snow falling on everything else, but just the, oh, yeah. it was beautiful. Well, was beautiful. this year, I, some of our judges, we have the village, uh, Joe Medor uh, is going to be one of our judges, Jack Curtis from the township, and Tim Throne from uh, Oxford schools. Community Schools. So those are our three judges this year. And then um, Santa will be in the pavilion. Yay. So you can have in the gazebo. your- gazebo. Gazebo. Yeah. Yep. You'll have your photo ops with him. All right, those are starting to get mushy. So yeah, I would say that. you should probably do the next step. Drizzle them with this. Is this going to flame up? When I put the flame to it, it will. Oh. That's the whole plan. This is super fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, I would never put the flame over there while you're pouring because the flame could draw back into the bottle. Do you want this all in there? No, just half is probably enough. All right. <laughs> all right, now. Oh, look at that. That is Look pretty. at that. Look, that is Gosh, really I cool. hope Kyle got that. I really do. <laughs> very nice. I really do. And see, these, these, these are mushier because we've been talking. So we probably went a little far, but the bourbon smells good. Yeah. Is that what we have here? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, I, we had a special request from one of your staff that they wanted to make sure I had some alcohol involved today. Okay. So <laughs> All right, so um, can you turn that to off? Sure. Can you Let reach me. over there and see that? Yeah, get your glasses. I know. I had Kyle turn it on for that same reason. We have ice cream. Okay. You guys can come and get ice cream. So, How fun. I didn't make ice cream today, but, so I bought some. You make ice cream? I do. <gasps> My grandma which, used to make ice cream. Which takes cream. like no time at all. It is the best ice cream in the whole world when somebody makes it. Oh, it is. It is. All right. So That's I, a whole different thing. Yeah. And I have like the world's super easiest recipe. Way you to do? Make it. Yes, but I'll never tell you how. Okay. <laughs> I have to keep something secret. She's just messing with me. <laughs> so, well, scoop yourself up some, some ice cream and some fruit here, however you want to do it. Yeah. I won't touch it, but... I'm hoping Vicky and Kim do. Maybe Joe comes out. Glenn, we've got Come on, guys. bourbon bananas. We have all kinds of good stuff here. Oh, look at you did get all this juice down here. Yeah, we're here. starting to get some juice, yeah. Nice. So this worked well using my little yeah. griddle. Who wants bananas? You want to try the bananas? Mm -hmm. still, well, of course, that's got the alcohol in it. Right. <laughs> that's a way to start your work day. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I like, I don't drink bourbon because I, well, I don't drink brown liquor because it makes me oh, nuts. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give you that. But um, I like cooking with bourbon because the way it flares and the way it cooks off and it just leaves that, that. leaves that smoke behind. Mm. Is it yeah. good? <laughs> she likes it. Yeah. What good. does Kim want? Terry, Joe, Glenn. I'm going to. They're all there. Oh, all right. Well, we still have, it's no rush. And so, red, oh, I just want to say registration for the Christmas parade is going to be opening soon, or you can call the office at 248-628-0410 and register. We already have uh, Oakland County Mounted Police. Oh, good. Which That's is going to be fun. really fun. So which one are you going to try? The bananas? I'm going to try this. Both. Oh. Just grab a spoon. I'm going to try this. This looks delicious. And all that is is blueberries, blackberries, and brown sugar. Yeah. And then just their natural juice. Just trying to get some of that juice in there. You can put some booze in there, too. Yeah. Could flame those, too. We'll just flame everything. Right. It's our new excuse for having right. liquor around the, town, the village offices. We need it here for when we flame our fruit. Our fruit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> wow. There you go. Delicious. Is it? I got to see. It smells so good. See, it, it doesn't does. smell like banana. Will you eat this? Except that the banana traveled back. Mm. Oh, yes, I'll eat that. It's fine. But anyways. That oh, good. is good. Got some people coming in to get that some is really ice cream. Good. Is it good? See, Who I would like, like the banana. Miss Kim, mm -hmm. come help yourself, please. I like to cook. And Glenn, of course, berries. This the, the banana. Some of that on there. Yeah. Okay. You want more ice cream? No, no, okay. No, no, no. Glenn, come on and get some food. Oops. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah. Um, I, I obviously have never cooked bananas, and I do think. Maybe, do we get them too mushy? Is that good? Or is it more like a sauce? No, I think it's. I think it's good. Glenn, okay. come on. I'll give you one. What fruit do you want? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, we're going to keep feeding everybody, yes. and um, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much to everybody and to all well, the chickens you. that didn't come out. <laughs> I'll be making more lunch so everybody can have some more food. Well, thank and you. Thank you for being on camera, and you did yeah. a great job with that. Well, thank you. And, you know, I... Anytime. As long as I can keep a That's person fine. between me and the bananas. Uh, we're, we're, <laughs> here, you want to take it back to, to your you. office? Go ahead. <laughs> So, okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so there you go. We did another Traveling Connie's Kitchens. Today we're at the village offices. And I, ev thank you, everybody. I appreciate you letting me come in and play and make a mess. And uh, I don't know where we're going to be next for episode 75, which is thrilling. In the meantime, keep an eye out for the OCTV survey that's out and about. It's very important to us. We, uh, if you want for more information on that, give me a call at 248-933-4579. Same number for Stormhaven events and catering. Um, other than that, have some fun in the kitchen with your family and friends. And uh, remember the promise. And I will see you soon. I'm going to have some of this one.